Hey everybody, welcome into this new video to Express. Let's focus into how to create a subdomain using Hostinger. The subdomains are a great way to organize different sections of your website, like a blog, like a store, under the same main domain. Whether you're managing a larger site or just wanted to experiment with new ideas, this tutorial will guide you through creating a subdomain into Hostinger. Let's begin. Now, understanding the subdomains. A subdomain is an extension of your main domain and serves as a separate entity by hierarchy of your site. For example, blogged.yoursite.com, the subdomain of yoursite.com. So subdomains are useful for organizing content, testing new features, or creating multi-language versions of your site. So how can we get actually started? Let's start by logging into your host Tinger account. First of all, you start, you need to log in here, you need to have a domain already been registered into Hostinger or have an external domain linked to the Hostinger hostings. Once you are logged in, we'll navigate to the hosting account where your domain is located. In our case, in our case, it would be actually this one. Once we are into the subdomain section, click into the new subdomain. You go for create a new subdomain and there you go. But this is something really important. Currently, creating wildcard subdomain is not supported. So, but you can still point a subdomain. And by doing that, you wanted to go into the hosting IP address, accessing the DNS zone of the service to which your domain is pointed by the name servers and create a new A record. Checking for existing subdomains is going to be part of the subdomain paging. Scrolling down to the list of the current subdomains, the, you will see the full list as well as a directory where the subdomain files are located. The alternate of a subdomain. So, instead of configuring and launching your subdomain, there's another thing that you can do if you wanted to add a new subdomain. For example, let's say that I wanted to add something alongside with my domain, which is going to be techpress.ltd. So if you check out here my published site, uh, here into my actual pages, we do have the videos, the blog, the contact us, and the Shopify store. So that means that when somebody goes directly into my Shopify store, they're going to be seeing the name of my site, fast forward slash the Shopify store. This is a subdomain that can be helping you to add more alternate domains about yourself. And that, guys, is how you can connect your subdomains directly inside and using Hostinger. So, guys, uh, you have successfully created a subdomain with Hostinger. You can now start developing and organizing your site content on the new subdomain. If you find the tutorial on creating a subdomain with Hostinger, with Hostinger uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And for more web management guide, any questions or tips using subdomains, you can share them into the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your new self domain. Stay tuned to Techpress for more helpful tech tutorials.